The process of resolving conflicts. I'm so full I might doze off if I keep sitting down. Greedy boy! We can walk then and talk in the process. Oh yeah? The process of resolving conflicts? How is that different from methods? Actually, there isn't much difference. But the process here explains exactly how the method is used. Remember, conflict resolution can take place in or out of court as long as it is legal. I remember that. Remember too that the judiciary arm of the government is empowered by the constitution to resolve conflicts through courts. And as I said, out of court settlement of cases is allowed by the same constitution as long as they are not criminal in nature. But I thought all cases are criminal in nature. You thought wrong, my friend. Non-criminal cases are civil conflicts that are industrial, cultural, or political in nature. For example, when a trade union sues the employer for poor working conditions, that is an industrial case, but it is not criminal. Now I get it. Good. So, moving on, petty crime can be settled out of court using methods such as mediation, elders, or arbitration. But if this does not work, then the parties in conflict can proceed to a court of law. All right. This is getting interesting. So, what exactly goes on in the court? Good question. When a case is brought to the attention of the court, directly by the complainant, a sympathizer or a lawyer, that is a civil case. The court then studies the facts presented by the complainant, after which it determines whether the accused has a case or not. Meaning, the court can as well dismiss the case. Exactly. But if the court allows the case to continue, mm. then a date is set for the accused to attend a court hearing. Mm -hmm. If he is incapacitated, then his lawyer can attend on his behalf. By incapacitated, you mean he is taken ill or maybe is busy? Something of the sorts. Both parties are allowed to call witnesses to prove their case. When this is done, another date is set for the verdict. Any party that feels dissatisfied is allowed to appeal his case in a higher court. And the duration depends on the nature and magnitude of the case, I guess. That's right, Luanda. Some cases take a few months, while others may take forever. So, where does the police come in? Usually, criminal cases are reported to the police. Mm -hmm. They arrest the suspect, take him to the station where they ask him questions and make him record a statement. Meanwhile, the police continue investigating the crime to find enough evidence they will use to prosecute the suspect in court. When the police finally present the suspect in court, a hearing begins. But the suspect is not allowed to go home until the case is finished. Not really. He may be released on bond as the case continues. A bond is a written document signed by the accused or a guarantor to pay a certain amount of money in the event that the accused fails to appear in court on the set date. Both parties are then heard and their evidence considered. They are allowed to hire lawyers to represent them. So you can be heard by either of the parties? Nope. I am a prosecuting lawyer, remember? So I work with the complainant. Hmm. The defense lawyer is hired by the accused or the defendant. After all has been considered by the judge, then a date is set for the verdict. And if found guilty as charged, then the accused pays for his crimes or can appeal in a higher court. But what if he is not satisfied in this higher court? Then he keeps up the ladder until he gets satisfied. But he cannot go beyond the Supreme Court since it is the highest court to appeal to. This seems like a long, long process. 
What if I wanted a quicker way of settling a dispute? Like I said, you can do it out of court. You can try arbitration. Oh, I am so thirsty. Can we grab some sodas down at the canteen first? Sure. I'll take Fanta. Coca-Cola is my favorite. Can you do us a favor? Why not? Go over what we have discussed on our way to the canteen. I knew this was coming. <laughs> All right. The judiciary arm of the government is in charge of resolving conflicts between individuals or parties. Mm -hmm. Cases can be civil or criminal in nature and can be settled in or out of court. Correct. Civil cases can be of industrial, cultural, or political origin and are brought to the court by the complainant himself, a sympathizer, or his lawyer. And the process of doing that is known as filing a suit against someone. But in many criminal cases, the police get reports of the crime, arrest the suspect, and take him to court. Any party not satisfied with the judgment can appeal to a higher court. But not higher than the Supreme Court, since it is the highest court of appeal on the land. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Thank you.